guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be spring cleaning my kitchen. This kicks off my spring cleaning series and I'm so excited for it because our house desperately needs to be spring cleaned. We've been in this home for a little over a year now and I've just been taking room by room trying to declutter and organize and just get things nice and clean and like thoroughly clean. So if you need some motivation to do the same in your house, then you are in the right place. If you are new here, my name is Kaylin and I make all kinds of homemaking content centered around cleaning, cooking, um, decorating. I'm gonna be doing so much spring decorating in the next few weeks and I'm so excited for it. So if you like how that sounds, make sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss a single video. And let's go ahead and jump into today's spring cleaning the kitchen. So I made a little list of everything that I will need to do my spring cleaning and then I wrote out step by steps what I'm going to actually tackle as far as cleaning chores go. So we've got a lot to do. It is about noon here and Brooks will be going down for a nap soon so we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm starting out by clearing the sink. I had some dirty dishes in here from the day and I figured it would be easiest to just run a load in the dishwasher since I already had some dishes in there as well. So that's what I'm doing now. But I just wanted to say that if you guys are having a hard time starting your spring cleaning, really just break it down and just start somewhere. I think starting is the hardest thing but also I know for me I'm a mom and even though I stay at home I don't have like hours and hours to just clean my house so I try to do it during nap time and it's okay if you can't get it done in one sitting. If you don't have the time to just clean and clean and clean do what you can and even little steps make all the difference in the world. And just remember that it doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be done. So even taking a couple steps will make you feel so much better. So hopefully that encourages you guys to get up and clean with me. This video is almost 45 minutes long, so there is plenty of time to get a few things done. The reality of this video is this took me about six hours to film but that was stopping, taking care of Brooks, getting him settled. Um, so it did take what seemed like all day to film this, but it felt amazing afterwards. So definitely worth it. But now I'm just going to clean my sink out because I'm gonna be putting some water in here and cleaning the other areas of my kitchen out. And I really didn't want any like food and stuff being in the sink before I do that. So just cleaning it out with some soap and water and then we will start on the rest of the kitchen. Now is the time to remove all of the rugs in your kitchen and just shake them out and if you can wash them that is best. I'm going to attempt to wash this one. I got it recently from Hobby Lobby so I'll let you know how that goes but now I'm just using a little duster that I got from the Dollar Tree and this little thing was amazing. It was so good. I've never used one before but to get the tops of my cabinets dusted it made all the difference in the world and I can't believe it was only a dollar so I'm definitely gonna pick another one up and if you guys are wondering I try to only wear these shoes in the house so don't worry about that and I'm also gonna clean my countertops off as soon as I'm done with this but for right now I'm just getting up on my countertops to clean the tops of my cabinets and I hadn't done this since we moved in and they were pretty bad so definitely do this step if you guys forget to do this often like I do.
guys, look how dirty this thing was. So gross, but you know it gets the job done. Now I'm going to take this Mr. Clean multi-purpose cleaner. I love this Febreze scent. It smells really good. And I'm just going to add it to some hot water and let it suds up. And then I'm going to um, stir it up with a little washcloth. And I'm also going to use some gloves that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. These came with a bunch of them in a pack and I figured I would just wear them while I cleaned. That way all of the chemicals and stuff didn't hurt my hands. I have really sensitive hands and they will crack and stuff so don't forget to wear gloves if you are deep cleaning as well. But once I get it all ready, I'm just going to clean the tops of my countertops. I'm just going to wring it out really good and then just wipe them down. And this stuff smells amazing, so the kitchen already was starting to smell a lot better after I did this. Now I'm taking my e-cloth glass cleaner, just adding some hot water to it, wringing it out, and then I'm going to clean my windows and all of my stainless steel appliances. This little thing is amazing. It does disinfect. There has a certain technology built into these e-cloths that is amazing and really gets everything nice and clean without all of the harsh chemicals. So it's amazing and I love it for my stainless steel appliances because it doesn't streak, which amazes me, but it's so good. And you guys can get them from Grove Collaborative if you want to get yourself one for your spring cleaning. Also, don't forget to wipe down the picture frames or anything that you have hanging on your walls in your kitchen. These things tend to be forgotten about, and I know they are for me, so give those a quick wipe down. Now I'm going to clean off my stove top, and I'm using a microfiber cloth from Grove, as well as my Method Daily Granite Cleaner. It works really good on all kinds of things, and now I'm going to wipe down my cabinet fronts and just get anything, any dust, any grime, anything like that, food splatters that have gotten on them with that same hot water with the Mr. Clean um, cleaner in there. And then I'm gonna wipe it down with a dry cloth just so the water isn't sitting on there or anything. And also don't forget to clean off your pools as well. you guys were wondering I do get 90% of my cleaning products from Grove Collaborative if you've never heard of it basically it's a website where you can order all of your cleaning products and they are more on the natural side and they will be shipped right to your door monthly as much or as little as you would like and it is amazing so I've been on Grove for about two years now and I love all of their products I use a ton of Mrs. Myers method um, even the Grove Collaborative brand. So if you guys are a new customer, I'll have a link down below where you can sign 
sign up and if you spend $20, you can get a free five piece set. And for this month, it includes a Mrs. Myers dish soap, a Mrs. Myers hand soap and multi-surface spray, as well as a Grove cleaning caddy and walnut scrubber sponges, which are my favorite. So, and you'll also get free shipping. So that's a really good perk, but it's an amazing deal. And Mrs. Myers has a lot of good spring scents as well, like peony, mint, and I also love the lavender scent. They have that one all year round. So definitely check out Grove if you haven't before. Okay, now I'm gonna take everything off of my countertops so I can get them really nice and deep cleaned. Most of the time I will just wipe around everything, but for the spring cleaning, I really wanna get in there deep and see like what is actually on my countertops and in the little cracks. So I'm gonna remove everything and set it on my kitchen table and then I will kind of rearrange. I'm not really loving how everything is set up right now, so I'm gonna try to get it a little less cluttered on my countertops and make more sense for our family. Okay, once everything is off, I'm gonna use that Method Daily Granite Cleaner with that microfiber cloth, and I'm gonna give it a quick wipe down first, just to get any of the initial like stickiness or crumbs or anything that's on the countertops. We do eat up here quite a bit, so there's always food or something on there from Brooks or us, and I figured this would just be easiest. And then once this is done, I'm gonna take that same Mr. Clean water solution and give it a quick wipe down just to really deep clean it and polish it off. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe down my lower cabinets. And if you guys are wondering why I'm not doing the inside of my cabinets, it's because I recently did an entire kitchen declutter video and my cabinets have been cleaned out very recently so they really didn't need it. I also reorganized everything in them so if you guys need extra motivation to get your kitchen organized and really deep cleaned definitely check out that video. I'll have it linked below if you want to watch it after you watch this one just for some extra motivation. I keep my little coffee station on this wooden tray and it just kind of protects my countertops a little bit more but underneath here never gets cleaned off so I'm just giving it a quick wipe down and then I'm also going to really deep clean the sides of my stove I feel like I never even think to clean this out so the easiest thing I found to clean it with is take a butter knife or any kind of sharp object and just get it down in there and scrape all of the food and just things that fall down there out and then I also use the rag to just clean it off and then I'll also do the other side and I'm also going to clean off my Keurig and get it nice and cleaned and I noticed that the bottom was really stained so I just stuck those into the sink and let them soak 
in some soapy water first. And then I'm also going to clean off my Nespresso machine as well. Just be honest, be a man right now. Say it's over. If it's over, do you remember when we went to Paris in July? Got stuck out in the rain, but we danced around and didn't mind it. So young and reckless, baby, you and I fit just like a glove. But I guess that's over now We've been playing here since 4 a.m. And you haven't said a word to me mm. Silent treat Okay, you guys, let me know if you have a KitchenAid mixer, do you keep it on your countertops all the time? Or do you have it in a cabinet or in your pantry or somewhere where it's not seen all the time? I'm really curious because at first I had mine in my pantry, but I found I was using it so often that it's just easier to have it on my countertops because it is so heavy. This thing weighs like a thousand pounds, it feels like. So I'm just moving it over and cleaning it. It tucks away nicely in my corner little space right here, so I'm not too worried about it, but I'm just curious. What do you guys do with yours? Just be honest, be Okay, I decided to move my coffee station over here by my sink. The cabinet above it has all of our coffee mugs in it, and I feel like I don't use this space very often, so it just makes more sense to have it there and free up some space by the stove. So I'm gonna wash those two things right there and put them back onto the Keurig. They get so dirty, and then I'm gonna start on my lower cabinets over by the sink. so small watch the clock ticking off the wall but tonight i'm letting it go spend my coin for sure i'm gonna be myself or i could be someone else no one's stopping me now i'm gonna skip my breaks i'm gonna make mistakes i just wanna feel alive it's just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town I don't know about you guys, but I always keep my baking sheets and muffin pans and things of that sort underneath my stove. I feel like this space is just really kind of useless. I think it's a warming station or something for food, but I never use it for that. I never have. So I just store all of these things in here and I find that like on the sides of it get really dirty just from opening and shutting it. So I cleaned off the sides of there and also in the middle with that Mr. Clean mixture as well and it cleaned everything off really nicely. I don't know how all these crumbs get in there but it felt so good to have it cleaned and then I'm just kind of rearranging my pans and I also got rid of a couple because I feel like I don't need that many and some of them are kind of rough so it's a good time to just take inventory of what you have and if you want to get rid of anything now is a great time to do so. Now it's time to clean the microwave and I see the hack on Pinterest that I thought I'd try out. Basically you just take a cup of hot water 
and then you can slice up some lemons and if you just put it on for like five minutes it'll soften up everything that is stuck to the sides of the microwave and it makes it easier to clean so I tried it out and it actually worked really well I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else Moving on to the refrigerator, mine desperately needed cleaned out and I also needed to see if anything was expired. Whenever I did my kitchen declutter, I didn't do my refrigerator, I kind of just forgot about it. So I'm doing it now and just cleaning out any leftovers or anything that was in there. And I'm just going to move all of the food, set it down on the counter, see if anything is expired and make a pile to keep and a pile to throw away. Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me. My main drawers and shelves were so bad, I decided to just take them out, move them over to the sink, and deep clean them. But in the meantime, I just let them soak for a little bit to kind of warm up, and that way it would be easier to clean. And then I'm just taking that washcloth and cleaning off all of the surfaces inside the walls and everything. I just never realized how dirty this actually gets until I'm in there cleaning it, but it was not pretty. It definitely was time. After I wiped everything out, I feel like the water was kind of left behind, so I just took a dry towel and wiped it all off. That way there wasn't a chance of it forming like, I don't know, ice particles or something. Not that it's that cold in there, but I feel like the water would just hang around since it was so cold. So I'm just wiping everything down and it just felt so good to have the fridge cleaned out and have a clean slate. So I ended up not taking the bottom drawer out because it didn't really need it, but I just gave it a quick wipe down instead. By this time, my drawers and shelves were ready to be wiped down, so I just put them in some warm, soapy water, rinsed them off, dried them off, and then put them back into the fridge. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Tonight away, I'll kick my shoes up 
if I want Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to like than being pretty Honey, let's just be all right, now it's time to rearrange all of the food back into the refrigerator. And I feel like this is so fun because once it's cleaned, it's like I can actually think and I can put things where I think they should go. And it's just a refresher. So I highly recommend doing this if you need a clean, fresh start for spring. Organizing your refrigerator makes all the difference in the world. Moving on to the freezer, I feel like this is a little bit harder than the refrigerator just because it seems like all of the food gets frozen onto the shelves and you can't really pull these out. I guess you probably could, but I didn't even try. So I just had really hot water and just kind of let it sit on certain areas where food had spilled and iced over and then was able to wipe it out, but this did take a little bit of elbow grease, I'm not going to lie. Stuck in boring conversations 
with you. And now I'm going to throw away my throwaway pile of expired food. It's hard to believe that things get expired this quickly. There were some things from like 2019, so I'm not sure how that happened, but here we are. Once your microwave is done, a little tip is to take the lemons and put them down your garbage disposal and they will make your kitchen smell really good. I went ahead and washed that and then I'm also washing the turntable that was in the microwave. I let it soak for a little bit and then I'm just wiping everything off and it'll be ready to go once I wipe the microwave out. I decided to use my kitchen sponge to wipe the microwave out with soapy water and it worked out pretty good. I just decided to use this sponge for the day and then I'll throw it away and get a fresh one but I'm so glad that everything came off easy because there were so many food spots in here that needed to be cleaned out so bad. So after I got everything clean, I just took a dry towel and wiped it all down. Also, don't forget to wipe down the door. I almost forgot and then I realized that there were tons of food on it as well. I just wanna go my own way. Cause I am on my Okay, now I'm gonna clean my oven and luckily I have a self-cleaning option. On my oven, it takes about four hours and it gets super hot, so I took my stove cover off of there just so it wouldn't do any damage to it. But anyways, now I'm gonna put a little bit of dish soap into my sink and I'm gonna take a new um, washcloth and I'm going to work on my bar stools and kind of my bar area where footprints get stuck on and we're always just in this area so it gets really dirty so I'm just gonna wipe the legs and the tops of the bar stools down usually I'll just use a little bit of pledge or something to clean these off so having some good like soap and water did these a lot of good Also, don't forget to clean your baseboards as well. Those tend to get so dusty and just stuff gets piled on them. And I found that soap and water worked pretty well for this wall, but if it doesn't, just grab a magic eraser and that'll do the trick as well. As for my pantry, it wasn't too bad, but I just wanted to wipe down my shelves. And as you can see, I have all of my food organized by baskets and I just have them labeled with my label maker I got from Walmart. And I've kept up with this. You guys can check out my declutter whenever I did my kitchen video and I show you how I did it, where I got my labels, all of that jazz. But these are just Dollar Tree bins and they've worked out so well. So I'm just gonna wipe the, everything down and I'll call it a day. I also cleaned out my trash can and it was pretty cold on this day, otherwise I would have taken it out and hosed it off. But I just gave it a quick wipe down. Once it warms up, I'll probably take it out and give it a good clean. But I also cleaned off my light switch in there and I'm gonna wipe down our door as well, especially the handle. I always forget to do this, but once I start looking, there's handprints and stuff all over it. So a good wipe down was much needed.
right, we're finally nearing the end and it's time to clean the sink. So to really deep clean it, I'm gonna use this Mrs. Meyer surface scrub in the lavender scent. And I love using this stuff, it's so good. It's kind of like an all natural comment and it actually smells good. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this down at the bottom of the sink, add some water and give it a good scrub. I don't know why, but watching people clean sinks is the most satisfying thing, and it's one of my favorite parts of cleaning the kitchen. I just love having a shiny, clean sink. There's really nothing better, so let me know if you like it as well. my garbage disposal I'm using this cleaner from Target it's basically a little pod that you stick down into your garbage disposal and let the water drain and once you turn your disposal on it will bubble up and it smells amazing make my sink smell extra good, I'm using a Simply Earth essential oil in the orange scent and I'm just going to put a few drops in each side and this makes it smell so good. You guys can use any kind of scent of essential oil that you'd like but that's just an added tip to really finish off the sink. Alright, now I'm going to sweep out the kitchen and the pantry and then I will steam mop it. If you guys don't already follow me over on Instagram, you totally should. I do daily updates over there. I post a ton of home decor and inspiration. That is like my favorite thing to do. And I also share tons of recipes and daily things. So if you just want to follow me in real time, definitely check me out over there. My handle is just Kaylin underscore cash. And I would love to have you and just Tell me that you came from YouTube. It would be so fun to just see where everybody finds me from and just connect with you guys even more. So now I'm going to steam mop my floors and this is a shark steam mop and I do have it linked below in my Amazon store. So if you guys ever want to see like what products I'm using, definitely check out the links in my description box. But this thing is amazing. I can clean my hardwood floors, my tile, and it has different settings for each um, different types of floor. And all I use is water and lemon essential oil and it makes the floors smell so good and they're so shiny afterwards. finish everything off, I'm using my Mrs. Meyers Room Refresher Spray in the lilac scent and it made it smell so good. And as you can see, it's a lot later now. It's nighttime and the kitchen is finally cleaned. It took me so long, but it's so worth it. And I don't know why, but at the beginning of the year and the start of spring just makes me want to clean my house and refresh everything and just have a fresh start. So if you need a fresh start as well, take this time to clean your house, 
get rid of things and just really take in the new season. It's such a good feeling to do so. So here's a little overview of everything that I ended up doing and putting all of the stuff back. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I feel like I have way more countertop space now that I've moved some things around. And also let me know if you guys decorate with Ray Dunn as well. I just got a new hutch that I chalk painted and I'm so excited to um, decorate my Ray Dunn on it. So if you guys want to see how I decorated that and all of the videos to come, definitely stay tuned. Make sure you like this video if you liked it. Subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on a single video. And thank you guys for watching this and hopefully it got you guys cleaning along with me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.